Pikachu turned into a notebook. Zubat became a hole puncher. And Meowth is busy erasing chalk from a blackboard. Watch our new video to witness the Battle of School Supply Pokemon that you can catch at school. We are in the middle of a regular class. Miss Elizabeth is giving us assignments. Stevie and Ben are bored. All of a sudden, Stevie takes out a strange marker with wings. This must be Butterfree, the beautiful flying Pokemon. Cut the cap of a marker with a heated knife. Cut off the clip. Wrap the cap in light clay. Coat the marker with acrylic paint. Bend a piece of wire to make a frame of butterfly wings. Cover them with fabric. Decorate them with a string of sequins. Attach the wings to the marker. Hot glue foam rubber sheet legs at the bottom. Take two pieces of wire and apply hot glue to the tip. Color them with black acrylic paint. Stick in the wire antennas. Attach light clay eyes. Add details with acrylic paint. Ben is a huge Pokemon fan. His dream is to become a Pokemon master trainer. And this Butterfree is such a great catch. But the most amazing thing is that the secret power of this Pokemon is the marker hidden inside. Ben has never seen such a rare Pokemon before. A real Pokemon trainer always brings little Pokemons along everywhere he goes, even to school. So Ben takes out his Zubat. His Pokemon also has wings and a school supply superpower. Shape wire to make a frame for webbed wings. Fasten the pieces with hot glue. Cover them with clear iridescent fabric. Wrap the edges of the wings in light clay. Cut triangles out of light clay. Shape 3D ears. Make fangs from light clay. Hot glue the wings to a hole puncher. Attach ears and teeth. Color the ears using acrylic paint. Add eyes. The moment has finally come for the students and their Pokemon to fight each other in a school supply battle. Who will be the winner? Marker Butterfree or Hole Puncher Zubat? Whose Pokemon is stronger? Whose superpower is cooler? But the fight doesn't last long. Miss Elizabeth stops the battle and asks the Pokemon trainers to go to the blackboard. The teacher takes a lot of time to decide who she should call on. The atmosphere is so tense. She chooses Ben. Stevie is really happy about this turn of events. But he shouldn't be. Miss Elizabeth will discipline him for being happy about someone else's bad luck. She chooses him instead of Ben. For starters, we need to erase old information from the blackboard. Meowth will help Stevie out with his task. Make cuts in a round eraser for a magnetic blackboard and stick in black felt cat ears. Hot glue pieces of brown felt to the ears on top. Cover hot glue traces with brown acrylic paint. Color the eraser with beige paint. Cut a piece of beige felt into strips. Snip off the ends at an angle and attach cat whiskers to the eraser. Add an oval gold coin amulet cut out of golden cardboard. Add a meow face with acrylic paints. Stevie takes out his Pokemon. Meow nails its job. Pokemon have never let Stevie down. Ben is jealous of his friend's Pokemon. He wants to outshine Meowth. Only one Pokemon in the entire world can handle this task, the famous Pikachu. Trace two Pikachu ears on thick yellow felt. Cut them out. Cut the top part of the ear out of black felt. Hot glue them together. Make a notebook cover from yellow felt. Hot glue the ears to the notebook and wrap it in the cover. Hot glue round pink felt cheeks. Draw a Pikachu muzzle with a permanent marker. Cut a lightning bolt out of yellow felt. Add a piece of black felt to its end. Hot glue the lightning bolt to a spring. 
Attach the spring to the cap of a yellow pen. No one can compare to the star of Pokemon. A Pikachu notebook and pen are a school supply success. But Stevie won't give up that easily. His Meowth is ready to fight Pikachu. But Pikachu wins anyway. You shouldn't have even tried, Stevie. Ben broke a school supply cup again. He's so clumsy. And Stevie has a super-powered school supply cup. It's his school Pokemon, Ivysaur. Roll out light turquoise clay into a thin layer. Wrap a styrofoam ball in it. Attach light clay details. Press the school supply cup into a light clay block. Cut a green foam rubber sheet into leaves and make petals from pink felt. Make the signature cuts. Stretch out the foam rubber sheet leaves so that they look more realistic. Hot glue the pink petals to make them 3D. Attach the petals to the school supply cup. Add leaves around the bud. Cut eyes with pupils from white, red, and black felt. Hot glue the eyes to the Pokemon's head. Add details with acrylic paint. Attach foam rubber sheet ears. And some light clay scales. Hot glue the head to the body. Ivysaur is so cute! Its super flower keeps all pens in one place. This is a great power to have at school. Trainer Stevie has every reason to be proud with this Pokemon in his collection. Ben also has a useful school Pokemon. Go Poliwhirl! Wow! It hypnotized all the paper clips around it. Take a clear plastic ball. Hot glue a magnet into one half. Pour hot glue into the other half for balance. Assemble the ball. Make protruding eyes from light clay. Hot glue them to the ball. Cover the joining with clay. Shape light clay to make legs. Join the pieces with a toothpick. Make hands from white clay. Use a toothpick to connect them to the arm. Press in details with a modeling tool. Hot glue all the parts to the ball. Paint it blue. Make a white circle on the belly. Paint the iconic swirl on it. Hot glue on toy eyes. Stevie was very prepared to deal with his rival. Hollyworld did a great job gathering the scattered paper clips. Both Pokemon organizers have equal powers and significance. This battle ends in a tie. Hollyworld and Ivysaur are worthy opponents. We will definitely need some Pokemon help with this artistic task. Where is my pseudo wudu glue stick? Come on, help me out. Wrap a glue stick in light clay. Shape tree branches. Make branch arms and leaves from light clay. Make cuts for the cap and for the bottom roll. Color pseudo wudo with acrylic paints. Add details and a face. Attach the arms and the leaves with hot glue. Ben really likes his neighbor's Pokemon. Pseudo Wudo can glue all the papers in the world, and it will be very useful for fighting for better grades in art class. Trainer Stevie caught this Pokemon in a school supply store for a good reason. Ben needs an eraser as quickly as possible, and there is no Pokemon up for the task in his collection. What should he do? Stevie will help him out. He just happens to have a slime eraser, Muck. Mix white glue, a tablespoon of cornstarch, and purple acrylic paint. Put in a teaspoon of baking soda. Mix thick slime. Cover parchment paper with rich lotion. Make Mook's mouth on it with hot glue. Take it off the parchment paper and color it with acrylic paints. Attach the mouth to the slime. Add plastic eyes. Wow! Muck nails this task! It licked off all the pencil marks. This Pokemon is actually so helpful. You can keep it, Ben. Stevie happily gives his Pokemon to his friend. The battle of school supply Pokemon continues on the boy's desk. 
Miss Elizabeth is sick and tired of these fights and games in class. It's time to put an end to the Pokemon, and she knows a way out. Coat a plastic semi-sphere with red acrylic paint. Attach painter's tape to the edge of the other semi-sphere. And paint a black strip. Make the same strip on the red semi-sphere. Join the two halves with a strip of white felt. Attach a zipper using double-sided foam tape. Hot glue two white foam sheet circles of different sizes. Draw a border with a black pen. Attach the piece to a bigger black foam rubber sheet circle and hot glue the bottom to the pencil case. Miss Elizabeth takes out her Pokeball. Run for your lives! No way! Please, not Pikachu! Too late! Miss Elizabeth collects all the Pokemon into her handy case. You can have your pocket monsters back after class. Did you like our Pokemon school supplies? Then write in the comments which Pokemon is your favorite. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new Pokemon battles on Troom Troom.